Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to do a really quick video on the issues I was having with Tarkov and how I was able to alleviate those issues um, on changing a bunch of different settings, both in Streamlabs and in-game, uh, so that it's not crashing Streamlabs and it's not dropping frames, and I am able to get a decent stream on a single PC setup with Escape from Tarkov. So, without further ado, Let's get into it. So real quick, let me show you what it looked like on the viewer's end. What drop frames looks like it, and essentially just looks like lag as you can see from this TikTok video. And essentially I knew this was happening, but I didn't know how bad it was until I looked at the VOD. And I knew this was happening because I could see it on my Streamlabs notifications. And in my notifications, I was seeing throughout my entire stream, this quality of stream indicator turning red and usually this is a greenish blue a bluish green however you want to call that stream labs hue um, and i noticed that my cpu wasn't being taxed very much uh, but what i was seeing is i was dropping a bunch of frames which is this indicator right here and if you don't have this on your settings just real quick click that and if you click these it'll tell you what's going on in regards to the quality of stream and these are your most common um, factors in regards to good quality versus bad. So if you're new, click those open and you can see what's going on as you stream on Streamlabs. So the first thing I did was I checked out my uh, settings in Streamlabs under output. And uh, after a bunch of research, these are the settings that I uh, ended up on and it ended up working for me. So we go to advanced instead of simple, we're gonna be using um, the AMD encoder, which I always had, but make sure that you check off and for streaming service encoder settings and rescale your output resolution to 1280 by 720 P. And I know that a lot of people hearing that are going to be concerned about the quality of the, the stream and just know that it's not that big of an impact and understand that a lot of people are watching on their phones. So essentially that is the best, uh, output resolution for that viewing anyway. So that said, we're going to scroll down and we're going to lower our bit rate to 4,000. Um, I was up at 6,000 and I was streaming Call of Duty, by the way, at 6,000. I was streaming, I was streaming Warzone at 6,000, but that said for this game, it is a, it is, it is a different beast. So we had to lower it down to 4,000 in order for Streamlabs to work. And now this in and of itself didn't fix the dropped frames this only helped this is only one half of the step now we have to go into the game and change the graphic settings in there as well now what you want to do after you go into your streamlab settings is go into your actual tarkov settings and change your uh what's going on in your graphics so what you want to go what you want to do is start at the top and screen mode go borderless um Make sure VSync is off. That's what I got, at least. Um, I have my overall graphics quality. I have a medium tier build, I would say. I wouldn't say it's top tier, but it's medium tier. So I have it right here. Uh, texture quality is at medium, but you can go to low if it doesn't work out for you. Uh, shadows quality, definitely low. I'm just gonna go through it real quick. Object LOD quality, low, um, and Everything is pretty much low. Um, Anti-aliasing off, resampling, 1x off, HBAO uh, a low, SSR off, anisotropic filtering off. Um, sharpness I have at two. Lobby uh, FPS limit at 60. Uh, and then game FPS limit at 120. And then everything over here, down here, not checked. And I'm going to leave a link in the description, but where it's going to bring you essentially is here, this website. And it, this, if you want, go into that, uh, go to the link. It'll be in the description. It'll tell you exactly everything that um, I went through and what they are and what they do and give you their recommendations for what to use. And you can pick and choose and try out different things, but I'm I'm gonna go, I was struggling with this hard, so I'm just gonna go, I, I just went along with it, 
and trusted their recommendation. And here's what it looked like after I did so. I want to say that... Oh, that's... My legs. There you go. I'm dead. That's that. So as you can see, by going to the settings under Output and Streamlabs, as well as the graphic settings in Escape from Tarkov, I was able to produce a stream with zero dropped frames. Um, work's not done, though. I do want to get the quality of the game, the look of the game, a little better. It is a little bit pixelated and not as crisp as I'd like it. But that said, um, the link for the graphic settings is in the description and that's what I'm going to be working off of. It told me to drop everything to low. I'm going to start tweaking and looking at the impact of each setting on the stream quality and tweaking some of those. And if I do come to a better setting than I do have right now, I'll post an update on that. Along with the link below for the graphic settings on Tarkov, you'll also see links to my socials. So we are on Twitch most nights, 10 p.m. Eastern time. You'll see a link to Twitter and my Instagram as well. If you give me a like and follow on those as well, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if this video was helpful to you, if you were having issues streaming Tarkov and the settings that I gave you guys in this video was helpful, help me out like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll have more videos like this in the near future. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it as always. Take care now y'all. Peace.